Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, a huge, massive, immense, lots of big, ginormous thank you. Thank you so very much to all of my supporters and patrons and members and uh, subscribers and everybody who supports me um, on my channel and the work that I do. Honestly, I, as a kid, I could never imagine that I ever would make a living as a gamer, but y'all allow me to do that. And I am so grateful. So thank you so very much for that. Um, today we are going to, to play a brand new mod. I'm really excited. I haven't seen anybody play this. I haven't played it myself, um, but it looks really interesting. I read about it on the mod page. It's called freight forwarding and we're going to start out on an Island. And so we have like gated progress where um, initially we are going to use our, you know, copper and stone and iron to build a small factory. And after that, we're going to get trains enabling us to go to the edges of the island to get lead. And once we have the lead, we're going to be able to make ships and the ships will allow us to go to undersea destinations where we can find oil and rare earth minerals. And once we gather those, we'll be able to go to other islands and they have other different kind of materials on those islands, um, enabling us to get to the final phase of the game. So it sounds really interesting. Um, so this mod has a few dependencies here, as you see. So let's go over all of the mods we have in the pack. I know people are pretty interested in those. So we have to-do list, of course, Afraid of the Dark, Alien and biomes, auto deconstruct, uh, big light for train stop. People really love this one. It brightens the light. I wish this was added to vanilla, like brighter lights in vanilla. Uh, anyway, that's what that one's called. I have Bob's adjustable inserters because I really like the funky angles. Um, we need Bob's functions library for those and also the logistics and personal equipment mod. So I have this one and I have faster start and I have uh, mega something something basically it gives me uh, robots to build stuff because I'm I don't know I just find okay we're building a factory let's do it efficiently that's what my fun is in the game is building efficiently so we're gonna do that so uh, canal builders part of the mod pack cargo ships same um, same with the crafting machine disco science uh, I like this one it makes the science lab light up with the colors of the mod of the science packs you're using so you kind of can tell at a glance what you're processing and then we have factory search best mod ever love this one also FNEI best mod ever that's over here fill for me I think is hopefully for trains I don't remember if this is for trains or not I thought it was the one that allows you to fill trains with uh, reserved spaces for like iron ore, that kind of thing. We'll see what it does. I forgot. Faster start is one of the thingy that gives us armor. Um, all right. So freight forwarding hovercrafts, chaos technical terms in case you ever wanted to talk to like me, like with splittery dudes and undergroundies, this is part of the game. Now, uh, we have lead and Lexus aircraft. Those are also part of the mod pack. Max rate calculator allows me to look at the ground uh, with uh, like a, just a selection box and see if my ratios are correct on machines. Really good mod. Um, and then mega bot start again, the armor with the bots module inserter. I wish this was vanilla. Uh, that's, this is really needed in vanilla simulation helper is part of the mod pack as are the spider Tron thingies squeak through, uh, basically lowers the AOE of the hitbox on things like solar panels and pipes. We can just walk through them or over them. Text plates. This is fun. I, I had a thing where I was recording with Mateus today and it was like, Hey, let's put down some things. Cause he was connecting this pipe. I had some acid gas that he needed for, I think it's like hydrofluoric acid or something. And um, I'm like, okay, it's here. It's here. So he's going to come from the other side of the factory. And instead I didn't have the text plates. So I just had to put down like eight radars in a group so he could find them. Um, but anyway, there's that. Um, and then titanium is part of the mod pack. Tree x-ray enables us to see under the trees without deleting them. And underwater pipes are also part of the mod pack. And that is all. Okay. So we're going to play a single player game. Notice when you start this game, we're going to go on free play. You need to choose the freight forwarding default. Okay. So that's going to get you a map that is like this. Except we're going to use um, our map. 
This is actually the first map. <laughs> I'm really good at rolling maps. I, it would be great if I was a speedrunner because I could just roll those maps like crazy. Um, and, and only roll one because they always come out perfect. I always like them. So anyway, it looks pretty cool. I like it. Uh, it looks like our lead might be up here. Um, but in the middle, we start out with copper, iron, and some coal. I don't see... Oh, there's the stone there too. Nice. So we have a very mixed array there. That's quite interesting. So, um, anyway, I have changed the settings a little bit to be compatible with what we're doing here. I don't like moving outposts, so that's why we've bumped up the richness and the size a little bit. Um, and then our terrain, we've taken off cliffs. Enemies, I've taken off enemies because either you are powerful enough to kill them, all the biters, or, or... They kill you. There's no in between. There's no struggle. There's just like you either overpower them or you die. So I don't find enemies interesting. Um, and I've also taken off pollution because pollution only affects enemies and UPS. So we want as much processor power as we can for the simulation instead of dealing with biters. So research queue availability. Turn that on. If you do yourself a favor. I think it's a console command. It counts against achievements. Well, I guess if you're playing modded, that also counts against achievements. Um, I have all of them, so I don't care. But I, I always like to turn it on from the get-go because I forget the console command. So, uh, why don't we just hit play and go? All right. We've arrived. Our ship's on fire. I'm glad we escaped without being on fire. Okay, so let's look at our armor. This is what we've got. We've got a few um, rebel ports. We've got a few fusion reactors, a couple of legs. And we can, so we can run pretty decently quickly. Um, we can also construct things efficiently, which I love. It's great. It's fantastic. So let's start out by, you know what? I should use the taskbar importer thingy anytime I start a game. So I don't even have to put these on here because I would really love to import... Do I have that thing? No, I don't think I put it in the mod list. I'll, I'll add it to the mod list. Um, but it's called like quick, quick bar importer or something like that. Uh, all right, so let's start out with, oh. Oh no, I think I got, I really got Bob's logistics, didn't I? Oh no. Uh, all right, let's see what we can actually craft in this. I don't know if it's gonna include all this stuff. Uh, it looks like, yeah, we have basic transport belts. We might be stuck with Bob stuff. No, because I was greedy for robots. No. Oh, that's so sad. That is serious sadness right there. But it's okay. We will try not to cry. Try our best not to cry. Let's go ahead and mine some rocks. Why is it giving me random amounts of coal? Like, I want, I want all the coal. I don't want eight coal if it's promising me 10, you know? Uh, let's see. Are these, this is a big rock. You mine the big rocks because they have coal. Okay. Good. Let's get this coal on our hotbar. Also, the mod did say that the stack sizes are halved because there is such a thing as containers. And that's the whole point of this shipping thing is that stuff goes into containers and they hold like 10 times the amount per um per square of inventory space so i'm like all into that that's like yo that sounds cool so let's see can we make a drill no not yet we need more plates i think we can make one now so it's nine plates and five stone to make a drill i'm gonna put this down i'm gonna make this should make them all. Just make them all. I'm gonna have like this many, and then this many, three maybe. So it does. So I guess Phil for me is putting in a little bit of coal every time I do this. Uh, all right. I find that a bit odd, but that's okay. It's fine. Where did all the coal go now? Did it go all of it in here? Oh, I guess so. All right. So is this a coal rock? Yes, it is. Looks like a coal rock. You can tell a coal rock a mile off. Is this a coal rock? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh-huh. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have played this game before. That's a coal rock for sure. Okay. 
Yeah, the, the big ones are the coal ones. It's kind of... Well, it used to be faster than uh, digging by yourself, but I'm not actually sure right now because, like, if it doesn't give you 10 coal, it's kind of worthless. I don't really understand that. Um, okay, let's build another one of these. And I do want to build another one. Okay, give it. All right. The best way to harvest coal, by the way, is to build feeding coal miners. They feed each other coal. And then you can uh, control click on them. And that gets the coal from their insides uh, to the outsides. Oh, whoops. I want to build that yet. All right, fine. We'll build it anyway. It's fine. Okay. And that. Let's get some coal. Don't have that much, but we'll take it. We'll put a couple on copper as well. But these guys desperately need coal. Okay, here we go. And you can extend this, obviously, in a bigger chain like this. Still keep stealing that coal. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, we also need another, what, three or so? Something like that. There's our three. And that should be the end of the burner miners. I don't feel like making any more than that. I don't think we'll need it, basically. So, now what do we build? Let's build some power, maybe. Let's see what we need in tech land. So the first thing... Oh, steel text plates. All right, cool. Um, and then we can also get green science. Let's go with our just our first stuff. Let's get automation. Uh, it does look like... Oh, dear. I'm now regretting adding Bob's logistics. It sped up the robots, but now we have this horrible belt. No. Um, where do we get more belts? Let's see. Um, belts. Transportation belts. Okay, so this is the yellow is just 15 science packs. Oh, it's it's next after these? Okay, so that's just fine. We'll, we'll happily deal with that complication. It seems okay. All right, let's build a lab. We need a lab. And then we can't build anything else. <laughs> we ran out of materials. Okay, that's better. Um... Let's see, we need, probably going to electric mining drills shortly. Uh, we have a pond in the middle of our place where we can make steam power. So I think we should do that. Let's get one, we actually need more, more stuff. We need more stuff. We need more uh, iron to happen. Okay, so what do we have now? We have two boilers. Let's get those steam engines going. 
What is this? Oh, repair packs. Okay. We might end up needing more, um, more miners for coal, but it should be okay. Let's see. We need one more. Let's just make these pipes in advance. Okay, there's our extra steam engine, and then I want to make some underflowies. Oh, we get stone underflowies. How nice. That's wonderful. Yay. Uh-huh. <laughs> the yay is real, and you can tell. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some stone in here and start messing with that. The only problem with the, the new stack sizes is that you saw that probably. It only takes 25 stone, so it only gives is going to give us... Um, some, you know, 12 stone bricks because they cost two stone each. So that's a bit of an annoyance. But once we get belts going, that's not really going to be a problem because we're not going to be just relying on the stacks uh, that we're putting in right now. Okay, so what do we have? We have a good uh, ratio of boilers to steam engines, which is uh, two engines to one boiler. And then we need an offshore pump. And then we can start making mining drills. And then we should start making some science. Let's make these four packs and then collect more stuff and make more packs. Okay, cool. So, uh, pond is down here. We could actually put it around this area or maybe just go this way. I think that would be good. Okay. Let's get our offshore pump. Where does it fit? Yeah, it's fine. And then we get our boilers. I think we can go down this way. I think we need a space there. Okay. Because we need power poles in the middle and then we need to have our pipes. We don't have any stone uh, gathering right now going on, so that's kind of not great. Let's get a couple of those. Actually, we could build electric miners for those. It's really not necessary to have, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. All right. Let's make some underflowies. We need stone pipe. Oh, we need 15 stone bricks. Holy fuzzy cats. That's an awful lot. So here's stone. What I think I'm going to do, let's make five iron chests as is what we usually do. Just right click the thing. We can also get, you know what we should do? We need to do this. Get our bots in action. Why are we mining this ourselves? What are we doing, man? What are we doing with our lives? No, no, say it ain't so. We ain't going to do this. We are just going to be neat and tidy and get our bots to do the work for us. That is what we are. We're entrepreneurs here. We are getting the slave labor to do the stuff for us. That's perfect. It's faster too. <laughs> it's a lot faster. Okay. Boom. Beautiful. So now that gives us a lot of stone and some coal as well. So we really need to make some inserters too. Okay, okay. I'd really like to get... All right, what do we want from here? I think we want more of these. Um, and I think we want... Probably want belts. But most of all, we want electricity... Um, and that needs underflowies. And then I want to make some more of that. Okay, good. Got my 12 bricks. I think I'm going to have to set up another thingy for this because it's just too much. There we go. Another four. Okay, good. Very good. So let's go back down here and make sure that we can connect these things together. 
Let's just get anything we... Oh, there's a bunch of rocks around here. This is great. Rocks are great. Okay, y'all do the rocks, and I'm going to do the this. Okay, let's put our stone on... Wow, look at how much it's filling up. That's nice, man. That's nice. Uh, all right, so let's see. We're going to put miners here. Oh, no, no. Clear. Dude. Okay, apparently you can't put them on top of each other like that. Uh, we don't have enough stuff. We need to get more iron there. But I want to get these pipes going. We need more pipes. And underflowies. Didn't I make one of those? Where? Dude. I'm very sure I made those. This is so strange. Alright, well, we'll... We'll get more stuff going. It'll be fine. All right, make an underflow weight. Like I said, I swear I made those. All right, let's take those off. We'll, we'll put the science packs back on as kind of like, okay, if you haven't got anything else to do, do this. Uh, but, oh, we need to make power poles first. So let's go and harvest some power pole materials. Otherwise known as trees. They're evil. Don't worry. It'll be fine if you delete the forests. We don't care. Okay, excellent. We now have power pool material. One, two, three, four, five. That's enough for now. And then do the... Oh, we did the science packs already. No, no, we didn't. Okay, put them after. And then we can put in these after as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we should have the underflow. Oh, we have four now. How did I not find the other one earlier? I don't understand that. That's really strange. Okay, let's put... Oh, no, 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 no. Not this, please. We're going to put in these stacks of coal instead. And then we really need these power poles. So let's put these power poles there. And we're going to need to have them around here. And that is going to give us lab power. So put this lab right here for now. And just fill it with science packs. Um, we do need to get more of these guys, the stone pipes. So let's cancel those again, cancel those. And then those can be resumed. Yep. Nope. Nope. Okay. I think I used all the copper on the power poles instead of the science packs. So let's go and get more. And then we need to start making mining drills, I think. Yeah, I'll make those. Okay. So, uh, water. Water. We should be able to... Is that a different kind of pipe? Iron pipe and stone pipe. Oh, apparently yes. Apparently yes. Okay, so this is going to do our first research, which we haven't picked yet. So automation. Then let's take this. And then belts. I like those. Um, I guess we'll take inserters. I like inserters. And these are like Bob's adjustable inserters, so that's going to be great. So what is uh, green science composed of? Okay, basic transfer pelts and inserters. So it's just stuff we have already. Oh, that's right. We need to go and pick this stuff up. Come on, bots. Let's go. Uh, so we need to get uh, the stone going. That's important. Um, I think we're going to need long lines of this, not just simple amounts. I think we also need another lab at the very least because we have the science is very slow right now. Very, very slow. Let's see. Four? Sure. Let's make. Let's have a total of four labs. That seems good. Okay, very good. Could actually just make boxes here and just insert. Let's just did half and half there. Um, we're gonna need some power poles though. So if we look at what is gonna be a good 
something like this. And then we can have power poles going... Oh, not that way, dude. There we go. Okay. Just want to get the power poles where they need to be. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. Alrighty. So that's great. We're going to do some mining drills next, as you see. And we need to start getting coal fed. Uh, let's see, we're doing basic logistics first. That, I think, is that going to give us, what is it going to give us? Only undergroundies. This is going to give us yellow belts that we need to, I really want to use yellow belts. I don't want to use anything that's gray belts because it just really isn't good at all. It's not good. It ain't good. So we're going to skip that part. Um, and, but we can do, let's do some basic inserters here for these guys. Um, just to be ready, ready for it. And then these, uh, power poles can get extended there and there. Okay. All right. Very good. Now then, I guess I make more science packs. I think that's what we do, right? Or do we make, we actually have assembly machines now. That's pretty great. I'll order up a couple of those. Um, we need to get those made so that we can get everything else like this stuff made, not by hand, but in a factory. I'm just gonna let it run to do its thing because all of these are pretty short craft items. They take like a half a second each usually. Um, as you see, we're generating some green circuits to be able to make the electric mining drills, but those are going to be automated soonish. In the meantime, I can, let's see, we only have two of the, okay, now it's making these guys. All right, that's fine. These have a longer craft time of two seconds, so it shouldn't be too long. One of the things I like to do is do, so, so this is one thing I really would like to show you how to deal with mixed patches. Okay. What I usually do is this. I put drills that cover completely the seam. So anything around them is not going to be in the way. All right. Uh, and it's going to be a bit of an irregular belt, but that's okay. So here I really would like to go on the opposite side of the belt. So the belt doesn't get overcrowded. I'm going to have to move these guys. So let's see there, 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 and there. Okay. So nothing, if I put one right here, if you look on the right, it can only do coal. And that's exactly what we want to do right now. Um, we might have to put these guys back down the, these guys, just because I'm a bit worried. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Um, because we still do need a little bit of coal, it looks like, for just to make these things work. We don't want to run out of iron because we're going to make those iron belts very shortly. That's the yellow belts, which are needing iron plates, iron gears, gears, and other stuff. So what did we get from anything here? We got, we have a couple of science packs. We have some more uh, drills, which is great. Let's see, give you those. Um, we are getting more science labs, though. So that is really good. Let's put these three there. Okay, so you will just do like this. So we spread them out a bit. I know that's not very uh, even, that's okay. All right, so we are getting this now faster. We should be getting it faster anyway. Um, and then we'll get, we'll use yellow belts. I, I hate Bob's stone belts. They're so slow. They are seven and a half items a second. It's ridiculous. I will not use those. I refuse. I just refuse outright. Okay. So now you know my position on the thing. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to connect these guys in a way that's kind of, you know, most advantageous for power lines and stuff and things. So let's just do that. And what we want to do here is we want to have a section of splitters that splits all this stuff out and prioritizes it to the various lines that we need it to be in. So one thing, does this one, oh yeah, this one gets all of them. That's not ideal. 
because I was going to have these ones have a line to the left maybe and these to the right, but I think I'll take them all in one direction so you can see kind of how this works um, and the best way to prioritize this stuff. Now we haven't decided on a direction for our bus. Maybe we should go to the left. That seems okay. I like that idea. Okay, let's give you some coal. All right, excellent. Get some coal from there. Steal some plates from here. <laughs> what a, ah, oh, we have got belts, hooray. Okay, so that means we can actually start making stuff um, not by hand. I think that's great. Oh yeah, we still have to make, oh, we require those uh, basic transport belts. Oh, I thought they were made out of stone. Okay, no, they're actually iron. Okay, that's fine. We can make a belt mall. It'll be fine. It'll be good. Let's get some more iron. Get some more of that. Make. Okay, we don't have enough for this. Because we need a lot more iron. A lot more iron. Wow, tons. We need many splittery doos. And uh, for these, we need 61 and a half iron plates. That is a ton, an absolute ton. So that's going to have to be processed. All right, let's get these. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. All right, I just wanted to have these so I can put them on our thingy. Oh, the first piece outside there, that's funny, was... Okay, and I ran out of belts. Darn it. Okay, that's fine though. Oh, whoops, I ran out of there. Oh, one, two, there too. Okay. No worries, it'll be fine. These are quite expensive. They really are. I feel like they're really expensive. Seven and a half to make two belts. No, it's one belt, I think. Yeah. Seven and a half to make one belt. That's really expensive. Well, it's okay. We're going to get everything automated here shortly, so it's not going to be horrible, horrible, just partly horrible. That's okay. We're going to do it. It's going to be fine. It will be fine. We're going to play this mod. And see, I think I think adding the Bob's logistics might have been a big mistake, but I don't want to give up my robots, so we'll just stay with the mistake. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it is fine as long as we're not playing C block, am I right? Yeah. Okay, so so now we have this belt of stuff. We said we were going left, right? Oh god, we did, didn't we? Alright, it'll be fine. Okay, uh-huh. All right. So there we go. That's what we got. Let's get these guys. Now let's grab again and go down and make sure that we have... Oh, we don't have any science going. That's inconvenient. I guess I should make more. Let's just have those made while we kind of set up smelting. We need some serious smelting going on here. So, uh, coal is on the bottom. The most applicable thing... I don't know how I'm going to put in these belts for uh, copper and such. This is a weird kind of configuration. Maybe we take the copper down and to the left and around. Maybe. This one can go straight out to the left. I kind of wish the copper was here. Uh, but it's okay. I mean, we're going to make it work. It'll be fine. Um, it's not a big deal at all. It's really fine. So the first thing I want to do, I think, is take... We're going to take out the coal first. Okay, and we don't have any... 
of these things on our belt, on our thingy either. All right. Okay, there's two of those left, so I will go and let's just put these science packs where they should go. Hello, my kitten. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take these and move them elsewhere so they're closer to where we need to be. Okay. This is a huge coal patch for starting out. Okay. Uh, we do need some more splittery doos. I actually feel like taking apart one of these and just making another one of these. I know this seems really strange at this stage of things. Probably should have added a little bit more iron processing here because it does seem like we need a heck of a lot uh, to get started with stuff. Uh, but that's okay. We'll we'll make it work. It'll be fine. If I can take off these two probably and do the same thing again. Just have a mountain of iron processing because that's kind of what we need here. That is definitely the, the play for this particular mod pack. Again, I don't know if it's the Bob's logistics or, or what. Okay, I'll actually stop there. Stop there. I wanted to get a splittery do here first. To take uh, coal to the left. Left coal. Yep. And then... So coal is going to come out here. And then here... We're going to do probably copper in the middle and this stuff in the, or uh, iron on the right, I think. I think that's how we kind of want to do this. Okay. Let's take another couple of splittery dues. They are so expensive. But once we get past this kind of glut, and I'm kind of feeling like, huh, I wonder if this is like very legit C block kind of stuff going on right now because this expensive stuff is really very high, really high. And I'm wondering if that's kind of like, ah, oh yes, it's the Bob's thing to make it more, uh, quote unquote fun. Is that a way to put it? I don't know. All right. We need so I think what we can do is set up our smelting columns. If we get, let me get our blueprint book out. Let's see. I want to get out the, where is it? Production, early game, smelting. So we're going to use, let's see, these guys, but coal is going to come from the right hand side. So this looks good in terms of an array to use for this stuff. All right, let's set this up. Let's just do one at a time here. Uh, let's do iron first because that's the one that's going to cause us the most issue for sure. Okay. I thought I, I thought I got those though. Didn't I get those? This is so strange. Did they? Oh, they put it over here. That's why. Ah, naughty. Bad game, bad. Okay, well, I can... So copper is going to go down this line. I think we can just do iron to be here. And then copper can go there. Okay. Okay. We'll just wait till we have that. And we won't go very close to that other area because I really don't want to get that going right now. Oops. Let's make some belts. Put in the splittery do, and the splittery do is gonna put in No, that was not correct, dude. Something went really wrong there. Okay, so right is going to be iron. Yep. And then this belt of coal. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this garbage pieces for now. 
And we need to craft some furnaces, it looks like. But we don't have any stone. So that's something I need to rectify. Um, I remember we were going to do some couple of different things here. Let's put in um, a thing making furnaces. That's necessary. All right, we have our assembling machines here. So we'll put that one in. And because this thing force feeds, it will make a full stack of furnaces. So that's pretty great. Hello? There we are. Okay, so stone is chucking, chugging along so far. Um, we're going to need to put in all this stuff as well. This is why you need strong amounts of iron. Wow. So much iron needed. We'll just put this all into belts for now. And then uh, grab these furnaces that are getting made here. It's a really nice thing. So whenever any of these guys makes enough uh, stone, it costs five stone to make a furnace. And they're all contributing here. You can see them all just shoving it in. Uh, we're going to get some furnaces going. So that's going to be a boon for us in terms of like laying out this smelting column. And if you want to download uh, my entire framework book, it's a big book with all the stuff. It's in the Google Drive. Some people are kind of confused by like, uh, where are all the blueprints? Well, they're all in one book. And on the Google Drive, do not just click it. You have to download the entire file because Google Preview in its wonderful glory doesn't download the entire file. It uh, truncates it. So you need to actually download the file and then um, import it into your blueprints. By There's a blueprint uh, import function here. Yeah, import string. You paste it into here, click import, and it'll put it in your hand. And that's where you get the book. Here it is. I'll just put the book here. And in the book, I have all kinds of uh, blueprints for all stages of a factory. So far, this particular mod pack seems pretty vanilla. So that's kind of good. I mean, we know where it's going at least right now. But I do think that there are other things that we're going to get in time especially different recipes because we know there is lead involved later um, and other stuff. So I'm kind of excited for that. Let's put this, uh, these things in there. Cause it looks like these, um, the miners aren't quite fast enough for the, uh, for the smelting furnaces. There we go. Stuff is starting to flow. Let's get a little bit in a different range so that they do this first rather than all the stuff over there, which they're not listening to me. Naughty things. Because we definitely need these belts done. I guess I could set up a... Yeah, let's do this. Let's get a furnace or, t or not furnace, but inserter or two. I'm going to go ahead and turn off roboports so they don't steal any more of my stuff um, until I get this thing sorted out. Let's make gears here and that way we don't have to hand craft them. Let's see. Let's get a couple of inserters going on. A couple, she says, and then like crafts 13. It's fine. Don't worry. Do not worry. And so let's see, what does this cost? It costs plates and gears. I mean, I guess I could have it craft those as well. I want to get the inserters here for this first. Um, and then we need some power poles, of course. There we go. And then this can go into here, which is the belts. And we can also feed this via a box. Where's our boxes? Did not put them on the bar. There we go. We need more iron for that. Okay. And this one can go into a box.
Oh, that's not a box. This is a box. Haha. -ha. Yes. Okay, good. So now we're actually making the belts. So that's going to save us a little bit of time uh, on making these guys. A little bit of time. But we'll just pick those up whenever we can and it'll be kind of worth it, I hope. So that we can make stuff uh, with efficiency. Okay, so I'll turn on the bots again so we can... Oh, no, 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 no. Dudes, can you not just go from the early stuff? Dude, that was my bad. I should have been a little bit more cautious when I turned this on and not. Because that was not ideal. Okay, make more. Yeah, these require additional investment of iron versus the basic transport belt. Oops. No, don't make these. I want you to make these. All right, we have 39 of those. That's pretty, pretty nice. All right, so this is going to come in here already, which is great. Let's go and pick up some more furnaces. Boom. Yo. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. All right, and now let loose the robots, and they can put in everything they can. Go, 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 things. And it does look like we need some undergroundies, which... It's okay, we'll get to it. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Um, and we desperately need fuel, which means more belts, of course. Of course it means more belts. Let's go ahead and stop this again. Uh, the fuel, of course, is going to come in via the um, coal, but we need undergroundies. Like, fiercely need undergroundies. What do they cost? Basic undergroundies... And those cost basic transport belts. Okay, so we got part of it done. That's good. But it's super slow, man. Super, super slow. We also need some stone. Which, I'm going to take this stone. And the those. Is there any more, are there any more rocks to harvest around here? <laughs> here we go. Here's rocks and stuff and things. There we go. Yay. How much is that? Oh, it's plenty. Way plenty. Okay, so we, we, we need this. Come on. We need more iron. Gosh, that's hard. Okay, I'll put the labs here as well. I kind of forgot about them in the fray here. But I'll just kind of add them here. And I'm adding them just in a line because they're easiest to feed that way. Just down and be done. Okay, so we need to put the undergroundy on our hot bar. And then this one's going to go up. I'm going to kind of give these max distance, I think. Just because it's so expensive with the, uh, the cost of them. I need one more undergroundy. Make more of those. We can take these. 56. Wow, that's quite a few. Almost tempted to... Really? Where does the other end of that one go? Naughty. Naughty bots. Okay, let's go and grab more... More iron. I, I, I didn't realize it'd be using this much iron. This is like... Way too much iron. This is nuts. I, I I think it's Bob's. I think it's Bob's. I don't think it's this mod pack. I think it's Bob's. All right, I'm going to turn off the bots for now. And when we get this thing done, I'm going to let it go to make the uh, coal flow. Because the coal is really important. If we don't have coal, none of these things runs. 
but we are already getting plenty of iron coming through here so that's really nice really nice to have but let's get that coal going in here so that we can actually make these furnaces do something for us all right those need to go as well I think it's important to do inserters right now and we might even want to do a green circuits build uh, some kind of automated build for green circuits doesn't have to be massive but it would be nice to be something all right um, and that how what would that look like should I take apart this belt thing I don't know maybe um, yeah, because we're going to hopefully going to get it going, uh, in and around here. Yeah, we're really, I think we're missing just a lot of inserters. Yeah, maybe we get a, a, a build for... <clears throat> For those going on, okay, this is going to be green circuits. It's going to be copper cable. And then we'll get up another box here and we'll put our copper in there. All right, definitely need more inserters. And looks like we need more boxes as well. Okay, cool. All right, and then we'll put in iron here. And then those go into a box. All right, let's grab a little bit more iron. Make another inserter or 15, shall we? Hopefully it'll be placed right there. Come on bots, don't let me down. There we go. Beautiful, now we're making green chips. Ah, that's perfect. Very nice, okay. So that means we can make inserters with ease now. That's perfect. So go make 15 and less less chips needed because we have some of them. So what's going on here? We have no electricity. Ah, that's the problem. I was like, wait, we should have some production by now. There we go. There it goes. All right. So many of these furnaces have what they need. They've got the belts. They've got the inserters. And so we have much more production. We have a mass production right now. And in the next episode, which we're ready to transition to very shortly, we can start putting all of this mall type stuff after the bus. Because look at this sexy amount of iron. Woo! Let's -a go! That looks fantastic. Oh, that's beautiful. Did I ever tell you that Factoria is a dating simulator? It is. Trust me. I know. And uh, I have a very cool love story. And uh, come to my Discord and ask me about it. Uh, by the way, if you have questions, come to Discord. I am always available. And uh, there's a huge community of wonderful, very cool, very cool community people that are kind and helpful and generous. And um, it's very open and welcoming to everybody. So if you have questions, come to Discord. Um, otherwise, if you want to support my work, please come and support me on Patreon uh, or in other, uh, any other way that... Um, oh dear, we seem to run out of electricity. Whoops. Anyway, we'll fix that next episode. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so very much. Uh, links to Patreon in the disc in uh, the description, um, as well as the button on the end screen. Um, but thank you so very much for being here. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>